even the business knowledge. It takes collaboration. It takes a lot of things that you obviously don't have. And that's why you're upset, because at the end of the day, you know, you don't have them and you don't have the patience, the intelligence, even the patient, the patience, the intelligence, even the resources to sit down and just listen. So carry your cell phone. And when OnlyFans stops, Subway will be hiring. Oh, my God. Mike <laughs> Jeez, drop. Wow. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. And also if you would like to support me in any way, don't be afraid to buy a shirt or donate to the cause by clicking the links that I have down below in my description box. Now I have at least 1,000 active subscribers on my YouTube channel, so if each of you donated at least $1 towards my YouTube through at least my Cash Shop, Venmo, or PayPal, that would mean so much to me and will make my YouTube videos worth the effort and the time. So thank you and let's get started. Now to get into the meat of this video, I am here to discuss with you the debacle that is going on with OnlyFans and give my thoughts and views for what is going on entirely with the situation. OnlyFans officially announced on August 19th, 2021, which was actually yesterday, that they will officially be banning sexually explicit content starting in October of this year. Now originally, the OnlyFans platform was not originally created for pornographic images and sexually explicit content, but for content creators to make exclusive content for their followers and for the people that engage with them. It was not only supposed to benefit the content creator and the audience, but it would give the content creator a chance to, you know, make, make some change, um, make some money, make some moolah, <laughs> okay? It was not originally for sexually explicit content. But as you guys know, now the OnlyFans platform is known for porn. And I'm pretty sure that's not the image that they wanted to have for themselves in that platform. But the only reason that OnlyFans is banning this sexually explicit content from being produced by content creators is because they are trying to not only clean up their image as a platform, but also in their own words because of pressure from banking partners and payout providers meaning they are having difficulty with going forward because of the reputation that the site has gained. Concerning the clip I played in the beginning of this video, Kevin Samuels, someone who I call Uncle Kevin, has previously actually warned us about this and about what would happen with the OnlyFans platform and creators making pornographic images and explicit videos. And one of the phrases that he uses, which is winter is coming, actually warned us about this. This phrase from his perspective means that there is an economic collapse coming soon and times will basically get hard for people. Having an OnlyFans or simply a nine to five with no money saved up will not work for some people because they actually did not prepare for this economic collapse soon enough. And he also told us basically time and time again that this way of making fast money would not work and would not last. Now, me personally, I not only agree with him, but I actually spoke out against this and against showing your whole naked body on Beyonce's internet for the world to see. That's not classy and that's not attractive. And I've spoken about this time and time again, but of course, people have called me a pick me and said, oh, um, you need to stop policing people's bodies or specifically when it comes to black women, they always say, Oh, you need to stop policing black women's bodies. But you guys know what I say. If I'm a part of the black community, I'm going to hold the people in my community accountable for what they are doing, including myself, you know? But I'm gonna hold the people in my community accountable, which includes how you're presenting yourself, not only on the outside, outside of your house, but also on the World Wide Web, on the internet. How are you? representing yourself, how you represent the community. And as a brother and a sister, part of the community, you should feel the same way. But hey, I'm not here to tell anybody what to do. I'm just here to give my opinion. Now again, I'm not here to judge anyone. So, okay, let's say you're sending news to a love interest or sending news to somebody um, that you know on a personal level, you have a personal relationship. Okay, fine, do that, whatever. Not my business. But again, if you're posting your whole naked body your whole coochie and for the men, your whole pee pee, I'm not gonna say the word, on the internet, there's, you know, it's something wrong with that. And 
now that you guys are doing that and they're basically saying oh time is up no more sharing sexually explicit content on our platform now we have a problem now you have it's not even me now you have a problem because what are you gonna do what's gonna be your source of income I know this is some of y'all's main source of income, but what's about to be your main source of income now? You're going to have to figure something out, baby, because your time is up. Winter is coming. Winter, actually, winter is here, okay? And let me also say this. I believe when people were conducting themselves the way that they were on OnlyFans in a sexually explicit way, I would say this. You guys were actually acting like prostitutes without the pimp. You're an internet prostitute. You were an internet prostitute and you are an internet prostitute just without the pimp. And maybe if you're just posting photos and videos without the sexual act. But at the end of the day, you were a prostitute, sweetie. I'm sorry to tell you, but I'm, I'm here to inform you and I'm here to help you. So here we are. We are in the month of August and OnlyFans is saying, okay, we're going to stop allowing you guys to post sexually explicit content starting in October. Now that that is about to happen, I'm gonna tell you one thing. You're going to start seeing more people applying to nine to fives. You're gonna start seeing less applications being open. And you're going to start seeing those lines get shorter and shorter at those fast food restaurants. And let me say this. I hope to God that I do not see people twerking on their lunch break, working at these, um fast food restaurants I, I don't want to see that but you might see that because there's going to be a huge influx of people switching from the OnlyFans platform to that nine to five which is nothing wrong with a nine to five you know I've worked a nine to five before there's nothing wrong with that um but your <laughs> applications are definitely going to be filled up soon so make sure that you are applying while you can before the OnlyFans men and women gravitate towards that and also, men, let me just say this. Get prepared to get those hey, big head texts. You know, now that these women, a lot of these women do not have another source of income, they're going to start flocking to you, the very people that they should have been flocking to in the beginning. A lot of these women are feminists, and they say, oh, we do not need a man. We don't need a man for anything. We're strong, independent women. We're strong, independent black women. But because they're fake independence and fast money way has come to an end they're definitely going to start hitting up your dms and your text messages so please watch whose text messages and dms you answer because they're, they're going to be women that are going to start hitting you up for money and to just use you for money be careful watch who you respond to protect your money like you know it's your last dollar don't let these people and don't let these women or for vice versa for women don't let these men try to scam you out of your money because they ran out of a way to make it. Now it's sad to say, but everybody and their mama, from what I saw, was making these OnlyFans accounts, um, trying to make fast money and a quick buck, but unfortunately that has come to an end. And the weird thing about it is they expected not to face any consequences for their actions and for embarrassing not only themselves, but their children, their grandchildren, their nieces, their nephews, their cousins on the internet. I'm gonna tell you this story. I saw a story this summer of uh, basically a child saying that he went to school and when he went to school, there were some kids that had his mom's OnlyFans pulled up and they were laughing at it and they started making fun of him. It got so bad that he actually went home and said to his mom, mom, can you please stop doing this OnlyFans because they are making fun of me and they're embarrassing me at school. And you know what his mom said? She said, no, this is my source of income. You know, I, I believe that I should be able to do this freely without any shame. You know, oh well, this is your mama's only source of income. Oh well, you're gonna have to just deal with it. So he went back to school and they continued to make fun of him and now the little boy is suicidal, embarrassed. He doesn't even wanna go back to school. This is the type of consequences that you're going to continue to see, that we have seen and you're going to continue to see these men and women making this content and their children going to school and people finding it. As a parent, I would never want my child to go through something like that because of me. But um, I just, I'm kind of glad that this content, this type of content has ended so these kids can get a break. 
but unfortunately although it has ended your photos and videos will be stuck on the world wide web forever i am a christian so i do believe in redemption but there are consequences to every action so please next time there is a fad like this and you know it's popular to make this type of content like this and to hop on this wave don't hop on it be different do something different don't hop on a trend just because it's a trend and don't hop on a trend just because it's making you fast money that's not the way you should be going about things um you should still work hard but not in that way i really hope more people learn from this and do better next time and my advice is to start a business start a youtube like i'm doing start things that will make you residual income that will benefit you in the long run also get an education i still believe that some degrees are valuable it just depends on what kind of degree you're getting and also your connections but if you don't want to do that especially when it comes to ladies get married marry a man that will provide for you and will allow you to rest in your femininity and not have to worry about bills marry somebody like that if you can't get a good job get married that is my advice and that is the end of my video thank you guys so much for watching please again don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and also if you want to donate and support my youtube donate to my cash shop venmo and paypal and those links will be in the description box below i will see you guys later and thank you for watching bye